Lucid Dreaming, See It, Believe It, and Receive It. Written by Justice O. Malcolm. Published by Audio Books Office. Introduction. Have you ever found yourself aware that you're dreaming while in the midst of a dream? This intriguing phenomenon, known as lucid dreaming, is more than just a surreal experience, it's a complex cognitive process with fascinating neurological underpinnings. During a lucid dream, you're essentially in the driver's seat of your own subconscious, able to manipulate the dream narrative at will. The science behind this is as riveting as the experience itself, where the conscious and unconscious mind intersect in a dance of neural activity. But how exactly does your brain achieve this peculiar state of awareness? Let's explore together, you might be surprised at the insights this journey could offer. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We noticed that 82% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Lesson 1. Definition of Lucid Dreaming Before we explore the benefits and techniques of lucid dreaming, it's essential that you understand what it is. Simply put, lucid dreaming is a dream state where you're aware that you're dreaming and can control the events within the dream. This state of consciousness is a fascinating aspect of human cognition, offering a unique blend of wakefulness and dream-filled sleep. The Benefits of Lucid Dreaming Although the idea of lucid dreaming may already fascinate you, it's crucial to comprehend the potential advantages it may have for your mental and emotional health. Lucid dreaming can facilitate personal growth and self-awareness by providing a platform to confront fears and solve problems. It's an avenue to explore the subconscious mind, giving you a canvas to rehearse and master skills, thereby enhancing your learning ability. Furthermore, it can enable the development of creativity, as the dream world offers no boundaries. By allowing you to control your dreams, lucid dreaming can also be therapeutic, aiding in the treatment of nightmares and post-traumatic stress disorder. These benefits aren't just theoretical but are backed by various scientific studies, making lucid dreaming a fascinating and beneficial phenomenon. The Techniques for Lucid Dreaming there are various scientifically established ways you may do to boost your chances of having a lucid dream if you want to go into the realm of lucid dreaming. The first technique is reality testing. This involves checking your environment several times a day to see if you're dreaming. Over time, you'll start doing this in your dreams too. The second strategy is to get up after 5 hours of sleep, stay up for a brief length of time, and then go back to sleep, which boosts REM sleep when dreaming is more likely. The last technique is mnemonic induction of lucid dreams, mild, where before sleep, you tell yourself that you'll remember your dreaming. Practicing these techniques regularly can significantly enhance your ability to lucidly dream. Lesson 2. Stages of Sleep and Dreams Understanding the stages of sleep is crucial for grasping the concept of lucid dreaming. You'll start by looking at an overview of sleep stages, moving on to explore the relationship between REM sleep and dreaming, and later, the relevance of non-REM dreams. The Sleep Stages Overview Before getting into the complexities of lucid dreaming, it is important to understand the various stages of sleep and how dreams occur within these periods. The four different phases of sleep are N1, N2, N3, and rapid eye movement, REM. The initial three stages are non-REM and involve slow-wave sleep, while REM sleep is when most dreaming happens. You start in N1, transition to N2, then N3, and finally REM. This cycle repeats approximately every 90 minutes. Lucid dreaming typically occurs during REM sleep, when your brain activity is high, akin to a waking state. The rapid eye movement and dreaming. Having examined the stages of sleep, Let's now focus on REM sleep, where most dreaming, including lucid dreaming, takes place. During REM sleep, your brain activity increases, resembling that of being awake. Rapid eye movements, increased breathing rate, and transient muscular paralysis characterize this stage. This paralysis is nature's way of preventing you from acting out your dreams. Interestingly, 
It's during this stage that lucid dreams predominantly occur. Lucid dreaming appears to be a hybrid state of both REM sleep and being awake. You're immersed in a vivid dream, yet you're aware that you're dreaming and can often control the dream's content. The exact mechanics behind lucid dreaming remain somewhat elusive, but it's clear that the unique properties of REM sleep play a vital role. The non-REM dreams. Delving into the realm of non-REM sleep, you'll find that dreams can indeed occur during these stages, albeit with different characteristics than those experienced during REM sleep. Non-REM dreams typically lack the vividness and emotional intensity of REM dreams. Here, dreams are more thought-like, less bizarre, and often involve mundane activities. These dreams occur during the first and second stages of your sleep cycle, which collectively account for about half of your total sleep time. Your brain waves slow down as you shift from light sleep to deep sleep, and your dream experiences follow suit. While the function of non-REM dreams remains a topic of ongoing research, some suggest they play a role in memory consolidation and processing daily experiences. Understanding this can help you better manage and interpret your dream experiences. The Sleep Cycle Patterns Now, let's dissect the sleep cycle, understanding its stages and how each relates to your dream experiences. You go through four stages of sleep, N1, N2, N3, and REM, rapid eye movement. N1 is the lightest stage, a transition from wakefulness to sleep. N2 is a slightly deeper level of sleep, and N3 is the deepest, also known as slow-wave sleep. REM sleep, where most dreaming occurs, is the final stage. It's characterized by intense brain activity, rapid eye movements, and temporary body paralysis. Lucid dreams primarily happen during REM sleep. Understanding this cycle is key to managing your lucid dreaming experiences. By recognizing the stages, you can pinpoint when your dreams are most likely to occur and attempt to gain control during those periods. Lesson 3. Consciousness and Lucidity. In exploring consciousness and lucidity, you'll encounter the fascinating concept of awareness during dreams. You'll learn about cognitive control techniques and reality testing methods that can enhance this awareness. Additionally, you'll understand the unique brain activity patterns and altered states of consciousness associated with lucid dreaming. The awareness during dreams. While you're dreaming, you might become cognizant of the dream state, experiencing what's known as lucid dreaming. This heightened state of awareness allows you to recognize and remember your dreams in detail. Unlike typical dreams, where you're a passive observer, lucid dreams allow active participation and even control over dream events. This intriguing phenomenon is due to a unique blend of brainwave activity, primarily theta and gamma waves. The former is associated with REM sleep and dreaming, while the latter is linked to conscious attention. Essentially, your brain is in a state of sleep and wakefulness simultaneously, creating a vivid, immersive dream world where you're fully aware yet asleep. Understanding this can enhance your lucid dreaming experiences. The Cognitive Control Techniques Mastering the art of lucid dreaming involves a variety of cognitive control techniques that can enhance your consciousness and lucidity within the dream state. One effective technique is reality testing, where you habitually check your environment for anomalies that wouldn't exist in reality, such as distorted time or gravity. This can translate to your dreams, triggering lucidity. Another is, wake back to bed, WBTB, where you wake up for a short period in the night, then return to sleep, increasing the chance of entering a lucid dream. Lastly, mnemonic induction of lucid dreams, mild, involves waking up from a dream and replaying it in your mind, while intending to recognize it as a dream when it recurs. Through these techniques, you can gain control over your dream state. The Reality Testing Methods To enhance your consciousness and lucidity in dreams, you'll need to delve into reality testing methods, which involve routinely checking your environment for oddities not found in the real world. These methods, rooted in cognitive psychology, aim to heighten your awareness during waking hours so that this keenness transfers to your dreams. You'll perform simple checks throughout the day, like attempting to push your hand through a solid object or looking at a digital clock twice in a row to see if the time jumps erratically. 
if the impossibility occurs, you're likely dreaming. Over time, this habit can alert you when you're within a dream, allowing you to take control. The Brain Activity Patterns Understanding brain activity patterns is crucial in gaining a deeper insight into the phenomenon of lucid dreaming. It is these patterns that govern your levels of consciousness and lucidity. When you're in a lucid dream, your brain is in a hybrid state, where aspects of both REM sleep and wakefulness coexist. This unique neural configuration allows you to be asleep and dreaming, yet aware you're dreaming. Specifically, heightened activity is observed in the frontal areas of the brain, which are associated with higher cognitive functions like self-awareness and executive control. On the other hand, areas linked to sensory processing and emotional regulation show patterns similar to normal REM sleep. The Altered States of Consciousness Building on what we've learned about brain activity patterns during lucid dreaming, it's important to explore how these patterns contribute to altered states of consciousness, specifically in terms of consciousness and lucidity. In a typical dream state, your self-awareness is diminished. However, during a lucid dream, your brain enters a unique state where self-awareness is maintained, even enhanced. This is a clear alteration of your normal dream consciousness. It's akin to flipping a switch in your brain, moving from a passive dream state to an active, lucid one. This shift is largely attributed to heightened activity in the frontal areas of the brain, which are linked to logical reasoning and voluntary movement. This increased activity allows you to consciously interact with and manipulate your dream environment, creating a uniquely lucid experience. Lesson 4. Neural Mechanisms Behind Lucid Dreaming Now, let's discuss the neural mechanisms behind lucid dreaming. You must understand how brain activity changes when lucidity occurs and the crucial role the prefrontal cortex plays in this process. It's also essential to grasp the dream state recognition mechanisms that allow one to realize their dreaming while in the dream itself. The Brain Activity During Lucidity When you enter a state of lucid dreaming, your brain undergoes significant changes, activating certain regions and altering neural pathways. The prefrontal cortex, typically dormant during normal dreams, becomes active. This area is associated with executive functions such as self-awareness and critical thinking, key aspects of lucidity. Simultaneously, the temporoparietal junction lights up. It's involved in distinguishing self from environment, hence facilitating the dreamer's awareness within the dream world. There's also increased gamma wave activity, associated with consciousness, attention, and learning. These changes reflect a hybrid state, a blend of REM sleep and waking consciousness. This understanding can help you leverage lucid dreaming for personal growth, problem solving, and creative inspiration. It's fascinating how your brain switches gears to accommodate this unique state. The Role of Prefrontal Cortex Delving deeper into the neural mechanisms behind lucid dreaming, you'll find that the prefrontal cortex plays a pivotal role. This part of the brain, responsible for higher cognitive functions, is much more active during lucid dreaming than in regular dreams. It's the prefrontal cortex that gives you the ability to recognize that you're dreaming and take control. Research suggests that during lucidity, the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, associated with self-awareness, shows increased activity. This is echoed by the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, often linked to the evaluation of one's own thoughts. The Dream State Recognition Mechanisms It is critical to investigate the dream state recognition processes that allow you to recognize and manage your dream environment in order to comprehend the neurological mechanisms behind lucid dreaming. These processes are mainly governed by your brain's dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, an area that becomes highly active during lucid dreaming. This cortex is responsible for working memory and self-awareness, enabling you to realize your dreaming. Additionally, your brain's theta and gamma waves, dominant during REM sleep, also play a role. They facilitate dream recall and the conscious awareness needed for lucid dreaming. Together, these brain activities form the recognition mechanism, allowing you not just to identify, but also to control your dream world. Understanding these mechanisms is a step towards mastering lucid dreaming. Lesson 5. Training the mind for lucid dreaming. 
Training your mind for lucid dreaming involves several cognitive techniques. You'll first need to learn mental exercises for lucidity, followed by mastering reality checks and heightening your general awareness. This process also includes employing visualization techniques and understanding the benefits of dream journaling. The Mental Exercises for Lucidity How can you train your mind for lucid dreaming? The key lies in mental exercises designed to enhance self-awareness and memory. Start with reality testing frequently throughout the day, ask yourself, am I dreaming? This practice can penetrate your dreams, triggering lucidity. Next, maintain a dream journal. Documenting your dreams immediately upon waking bolsters dream recall, a critical component of lucid dreaming. Meditation is another useful exercise. It fosters mindfulness and can improve your ability to become lucid in dreams. Lastly, try visualizing yourself in a dream becoming lucid. This pre-sleep technique, known as mnemonic induction of lucid dreams, mild, conditions your brain to recognize when you're dreaming. Through consistent practice, you'll enhance your chances of experiencing lucid dreams. The reality checks and awareness. Building on these mental exercises, let's examine the role of reality checks and awareness in training your mind for lucid dreaming. Reality checks are deliberate attempts to test whether you're awake or dreaming, typically involving activities that yield different results in dreams than in reality. For instance, you might try reading text or checking a clock. In dreams, these often appear unstable or inconsistent. Awareness, on the other hand, requires you to continuously scrutinize your surroundings and experiences, questioning their reality. By incorporating these activities into your regular routine, you are training your mind to recognize the dream state. Over time, this can enhance dream recall and the frequency of lucid dreams. Thus, reality checks and awareness are indispensable tools in your lucid dreaming toolkit. The Visualization Techniques Delving into visualization techniques, you'll see they serve as a powerful conduit for fostering lucid dreaming by training your brain to construct and manipulate dreamscapes while you're awake. This method, often referred to as dream incubation, involves focusing your mind on a specific scenario or object before sleep, allowing it to permeate your subconscious. The technique requires patience and practice, and it's more effective when you're emotionally invested in the visualized scene. It's also essential to maintain a relaxed state during visualization exercises to facilitate the transition into a dream state. The brain's neuroplasticity plays a fundamental role here, adapting to these exercises over time. Eventually, this practice can lead to the ability to control your dreams, hence achieving lucid dreaming. The Dream Journaling Benefits in addition to visualization techniques, keeping a dream journal can significantly enhance your capacity for lucid dreaming by reinforcing your awareness and recall of dream experiences. By detailing your dreams upon waking, you're training your brain to remember intricate dream sequences, which are typically forgotten. This practice also strengthens your ability to recognize dream signs, elements in your dreams that hint you're in a dream state and not reality. Over time, dream journaling can lead to increased dream recall and a heightened sense of awareness within the dream state, two critical components for lucid dreaming. Lesson 6. Reality Testing Techniques As we explore lucid dreaming, your understanding of reality testing techniques becomes crucial. These methods, which include enhancing dream awareness and performing frequent reality checks, can significantly boost your lucidity. It's important to meticulously examine these techniques, as they form the backbone of effective lucid dreaming. The Techniques for Reality Testing To master lucid dreaming, you'll need to learn and apply several reality testing techniques, which are critical tools for distinguishing between the dream world and waking reality. These techniques act as reality anchors, helping you discern the dream state from your waking world. One common method is the finger through palm test, where you attempt to push your fingers through your palm, in a dream, they often pass through. Another technique is the nose pinch, where you pinch your nose and try to breathe. If you can still breathe, you're likely dreaming. Text and digital clock checks are also effective, as they usually warp or change in dreams. 
Regularly applying these reality tests in your waking life can increase your chances of lucid dreaming. Enhancing Dream Awareness Building upon your understanding of reality testing, enhancing dream awareness requires a deeper exploration of these techniques. This will enable you to mark the transition from reality to the dream state with greater precision. You can further enhance your dream awareness by consistently performing reality checks throughout your day. For example, trying to shove your finger into your palm or looking for inconsistencies in text or timepieces. Additionally, cultivating mindfulness and regular meditation can give you a heightened sense of self-awareness, which is critical for lucid dreaming. Maintaining a dream journal might also assist you in identifying trends or triggers in your dreams. Remember, it's important to maintain a curious mindset and continually question your reality. With practice, these techniques can significantly increase your likelihood of experiencing lucid dreams. The Reality Checks and Lucidity While enhancing your dream awareness sets a platform for lucid dreaming, it's the practice of reality checks that truly brings you into the realm of conscious dreaming. Reality checks are cognitive techniques used to determine whether you're dreaming or awake. These often involve behaviors that have different outcomes in dreams versus reality. For instance, you may try to push your finger through your palm. In reality, it won't pass through, but in a dream, it just might. Practicing these tests during the day can train your mind to perform them in your dreams, allowing you to become lucid. However, it's important to genuinely question your reality during each check. Mindlessly performing the actions won't yield effective results. With consistency and focused intent, you can elevate your lucid dreaming skills. Lesson 7. Induction Methods for Lucid Dreaming You're about to explore the fascinating world of induction methods for lucid dreaming. These techniques have been scientifically designed to increase lucidity during dream states. Some of these methods include reality checks, dream journaling, the mild technique, and the wake-back-to-bed method. Understanding these methods can significantly enhance your ability to control your dream environment and narrative. The Reality Checks Ever wondered how to induce lucid dreaming through reality checks? Reality checks are cognitive tools used to confirm whether you're dreaming or awake. They exploit certain incongruities that occur in dreams, which don't align with physical reality. The most common check is trying to push your fingers through your palm. In a dream state, your fingers might pass through, indicating you're dreaming. Another method is checking the time or text. In dreams, these often change rapidly or appear nonsensical. By regularly performing these checks during your waking hours, you're conditioning your brain to do the same in dreams. Consequently, you'll recognize the inconsistencies, become aware you're dreaming, and transition into lucid dreaming. It's a practical, straightforward method to induce self-awareness in dreams. The Dream Journaling Keeping a dream journal is another excellent way to encourage lucid dreaming since it improves memory recall and increases awareness of dream patterns. This practice involves cataloging your dreams immediately upon waking, recording as much detail as possible. By doing this, you're training your brain to remember dreams vividly, an essential step towards lucid dreaming. Over time, you'll start to notice patterns or recurring themes, known as dream signs. These are unique to each person and can be anything from specific people to particular places. Recognizing these signs while dreaming can trigger lucidity. Moreover, the act of writing in itself strengthens neural pathways related to dreams, making it easier to achieve lucidity. Consistent dream journaling can significantly boost your chances of experiencing lucid dreams. The Mild Technique While maintaining a dream journal can be instrumental in recognizing dream patterns, another proven method involves the use of mild, mnemonic induction of lucid dreams, technique for inducing lucid dreams. This technique capitalizes on your prospective memory, that is, your ability to remember to perform actions in the future. You start by setting an intention before sleep, often phrased like I will remember that I'm dreaming. You then visualize yourself in a dream, recognizing dreamlike qualities, and becoming lucid. The aim is to embed this intention into your subconscious so that during dreaming, you'll recall this intention and become lucid. 
It's a method that requires practice and patience, but with commitment, it can significantly enhance your chances of experiencing lucid dreams. The Wake Back to Bed In your quest for lucid dreaming, the Wake Back to Bed method can prove to be a potent ally, harnessing the power of your sleep cycles to induce lucidity. This method involves interrupting your sleep cycle, typically after 4 to 6 hours of sleep, then staying awake for a short period before going back to bed. This interruption aims to stimulate your brain into a state of heightened alertness that's carried into your subsequent sleep. The theory behind this technique is that it increases the likelihood of experiencing REM sleep, the stage most conducive to lucid dreaming. It's crucial, however, to strike a balance, too much wakefulness can lead to difficulty falling back asleep, while too little may not induce the desired effect. Lesson 8. Enhancing Dream Recall To enhance your dream recall, several techniques can be employed. You can maintain a dream journal, create dream cues, or use mnemonic devices. These strategies aim to improve your ability to remember dreams, thereby enhancing your overall lucid dreaming experience. The Techniques for Remembering Dreams Boosting your dream recall is the first crucial step towards lucid dreaming. There are various tried-and-true ways you can use to improve this talent. One method is keeping a dream journal. Right upon waking, jot down as many details as you can remember. This trains your brain to remember dreams more vividly. Secondly, set an intention before sleeping. Repeat to yourself, I will remember my dreams. This primes your subconscious to hold on to dream memories. Lastly, try waking up during REM sleep, when dreams are most vivid. Use an alarm set for about 5 to 6 hours after you fall asleep. Experiment with these techniques, tweaking as needed. Consistency is key, and with practice, you'll find your dream recall significantly improving. The Keeping a Dream Journal Keeping a dream diary can be a great tool for improving your dream recall abilities because it encourages a continuous practice of documenting and analyzing your dreams. By jotting down your dreams right away as you wake up, you are actively teaching your brain to remember more details. It's a direct way of signaling to your subconscious that dreams are important to you. Over time, you'll notice patterns, themes, or symbols recurring in your dreams, which can provide insights into your subconscious mind. It's important to be as detailed as possible when jotting down your dreams, include emotions, colors, and sensations. Remember, consistency is key. Even if you don't recall a dream, write that down. This habit reinforces your intention to remember dreams, thus improving your recall capacity. The Creating Dream Cues In addition to keeping a dream journal, Creating dream cues is another effective strategy you can employ to enhance your dream recall. Dream cues are essentially triggers, which you consciously set within your waking hours, that prompt lucidity during dreams. These cues can be anything from a specific object, a phrase, or a recurring situation. The key is to train your brain to associate these cues with the realization that you're dreaming. For instance, you might choose a frequent dream symbol, such as flying, as your cue. When you encounter flying in a dream, it triggers the thought, I must be dreaming. This conscious recognition enables you to transition into a lucid dream, where you can explore your subconscious with more control and awareness. The Using Mnemonic Devices While dream cues can significantly enhance your lucid dreaming experience, Employing mnemonic devices provides another robust method for refining your dream recall. Mnemonic devices are cognitive tools that aid memory by encoding difficult-to-remember information in a way that's easier to recall. Consider the mild, mnemonic induction to lucid dreams technique, where you wake up after five hours of sleep, recall a recent dream, and repeat a mantra like, I will remember my dreams. This repetition, tied to the dream memory, serves as a mnemonic device, reinforcing your ability to remember dreams. Combining this with dream journaling solidifies your recall, leading to more frequent and vivid lucid dreams. Understanding and utilizing these cognitive techniques can significantly improve your lucid dreaming capabilities. Lesson 9. Common Experiences in Lucid Dreams 
You'll find that common experiences in lucid dreams often involve dream control techniques and reality checks. These methods can be leveraged to manipulate the dream scenario, enabling you to interact with your dream in unique ways. Understanding them gives you the ability to not just be a passive observer in your dreams, but an active participant. The Dream Control Techniques Mastering dream control techniques, often a thrilling part of lucid dreaming, demands patience, practice, and a deep understanding of your subconscious mind. These techniques are rooted in two basic principles, awareness and expectation. Awareness involves recognizing your dreaming, often through reality checks. You might, for example, regularly check your hands during the day so that when you see them in a dream, they'll trigger lucidity. Next, harness expectation. In dreams, your expectations shape reality. If you expect to fly, you'll likely soar. Visualize your desired experiences while awake, solidifying them in your subconscious. If done correctly, these visualizations will manifest in your dreams. Reality Checks In the realm of lucid dreaming, reality checks are crucial tools for determining whether you are dreaming or awake, as they frequently involve experiences that contradict the laws of physics and logic in the waking world. You may use these checks to discern the nebulous boundary between dream and reality. For instance, you might attempt to push your hand through a solid object or observe text in a book, looking for inconsistencies or impossibilities that signal the dream state. In dreams, physical rules can warp, and texts often fluctuate or become nonsensical. Consistent practice of these checks during your waking hours trains your mind to perform them in dreams, subsequently triggering lucidity. This intertwining of cognitive awareness and dream state manipulation forms the essence of reality checks, a crucial aspect of lucid dreaming. Lesson 10. Benefits of Lucid Dreaming You're likely wondering about the benefits of lucid dreaming, and rightfully so. Two key advantages stand out, enhanced self-awareness and creative problem-solving capabilities. We'll now examine these points in detail, shedding light on how lucid dreaming can serve as a powerful tool for personal growth and innovation. The Enhanced Self-Awareness How can lucid dreaming enhance self-awareness, you may wonder. Lucid dreaming, the act of being conscious during dreams, can be a tool for profound self-reflection. It's like having a private theater, where you're both the director and the audience. Without the distractions of the waking world, you can explore your ideas and feelings. It's an opportunity to confront fears, resolve dilemmas, and explore aspirations. It's also a space to rehearse real-life scenarios, helping you prepare for future events or understand past ones. By actively participating in your dreams, you're not just a spectator in your subconscious mind, but an explorer. You gain insights into your own psyche, enhancing awareness of your emotions, motivations, and behaviors. The Creative Problem Solving Beyond the realm of self-awareness, lucid dreaming can also serve as an innovative platform for creative problem solving, offering a unique space where the constraints of reality don't apply. In this subconscious playground, you're free to explore multiple solutions to complex issues without fear of failure or judgment, an advantage that can lead to unexpected breakthroughs. Studies suggest that this unbounded state of mind stimulates neural pathways associated with creativity and cognitive flexibility. Lesson 11. Lucid Dreaming and Creativity Lucid dreaming can significantly enhance your creative capacity by unlocking your artistic imagination. The subconscious mind, accessible during lucid dreams, is a rich source of innovative ideas and inspiring concepts. The Enhancing Artistic Imagination In the realm of artistic imagination, lucid dreaming can serve as a powerful tool, expanding your creative boundaries and opening up a playground for your subconscious to explore. Think of it as a blank canvas where you're both the artist and the muse. You're in total control, and yet, you're also free to let your subconscious take the reins. This balance between control and freedom allows you to tap into the depths of your creativity that you might not be able to access in your waking state. So, how can you get started? It's quite simple really. Begin by keeping a dream journal, training your mind to remember your dreams. 
Then, try techniques like reality checks and mnemonic induction to induce lucid dreams. With practice, you'll soon be able to harness the power of lucid dreaming to enhance your artistic imagination. Lesson 12. Exploring Lucid Dreaming Safely. While you may be eager to delve into the world of lucid dreaming, it's crucial to approach this journey with safety in mind. Just like any other experience involving the mind, lucid dreaming carries potential risks, particularly for those with underlying mental health conditions. It's therefore important to educate yourself about these risks and take necessary precautions. Lucid dreaming involves being aware that you're dreaming while in a dream. This heightened awareness can sometimes lead to experiences of fear or anxiety, particularly if you've not yet mastered control over your dream content. It's beneficial to start with basic visualization exercises and gradually increase complexity as you gain confidence. Similarly, you should avoid trying to force lucid dreams. This can lead to sleep disruption and potential stress. Instead, allow them to happen naturally. Establishing a regular sleep pattern, practicing mindfulness, and keeping a dream journal can help in fostering natural lucid dreams. Furthermore, it's recommended to seek guidance from a professional, especially if you're dealing with mental health issues. They can provide you tailored advice and track your progress to ensure your safety. In conclusion, lucid dreaming is an intriguing phenomenon, providing a unique blend of sleep and consciousness. Around 55% of people experience this on a day-to-day -day basis with share and consistent practice. It's a powerful tool for creativity and self-discovery, offering profound insights into the mind's capabilities. With proper training and precautions, you can safely explore this fascinating state of consciousness. So, why not give lucid dreaming a try and discover a whole new world within your own mind? Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.